Let us try to understand what is the role of completeness relation into quantum mechanics. And if you have completeness relation, you can have something like pi n, pi n, n summation over n must be equal to identity. What is this role of this? Suppose I have a one particular state psi, and this state itself have all the information about the system. Is this state have all the information? And what do we want? We want to just extract that particular information from the psi. So what we need? We need some operator A. So suppose I have operator A, and if I have this operator, then we can resemble this is something like a matrix, and we have the eigenstate and the eigenvalue. So what is my eigenvalue? So I can write A, let's say phi n is equal to A n phi n. And what is A n is nothing but the eigenvalue. And what is phi n is nothing but the eigenstate. And this is the real physical measurement. So this A is actually Hermitian matrix. It is Hermitian. It has real eigenvalues. And this is associated to some observable some physical quantity. So this is a Hermitian in nature, associated to some observable. Associated to some observable. That means you can observe it. So it is associated to some observable. And what do we want? We want to extract the information about this observable from this state psi. So what we will do? We will just write this psi as i psi and I will write the completeness relation with the help of eigenstate and that is exactly the same one. So what I can write, I can write psi is equal to summation over pi n pi n psi and what will happen this phi n psi is some scalar number and we have psi is equal to summation over n cn phi n. So what we have done? We have just decomposed my psi in a direction of eigenstate of A and then we can find, then we can use the postulates and we can find all the information of the A observable from the state psi. So this is the beautiful thing all about the use of completeness relation.